Hey you guys, it's Ruby. Today we are staying at Fremont Hotel and Casino in downtown Las Vegas. Let's party. So we are on the third floor and we booked a standard non-smoking king room. Let's take a look around. So all of Fremont Hotel's rooms have been recently renovated. You can totally tell. The carpet feels fresh, new wallpaper. This bed looks like a really nice size with good sized pillows. I love this wall with the geometric wallpaper and how they have that inlaid light with the art. I also love that they have a huge mirror for getting ready in this room. The main area of this room feels very spacious. There's a chair, there's also a full desk, and the wet bar area does have its own mini fridge for you to put all of your drinks and a coffee maker, which are standards we like to expect when we're staying downtown. So not much of a view for us in this room. We are on the third floor only. We are facing Fremont Street Experience, but we're not under the dome. So you just kind of get a bunch of like the scaffolding area. I am curious, however, though, because we are on this side, how noisy it's gonna be. I'll have to let you guys know in the morning. Our room also has an adjoining door and a nice sized closet in the hallway. The bathroom on the other hand, not as nicely sized. I do like that it's been renovated. The wallpaper looks nice. I like the little built-in shelving area. I appreciate that we have a glass door on the shower and what looks like a really nice shower head, but it's pretty tiny in here. hotel is new to us we have never stayed here before so we do have a lot of ground to cover normally we would start with the pool but the Fremont Hotel does not have its own pool area and it's January normally though during pool season you can utilize the California hotels pool if you're staying here and that's a nice perk because most of the downtown hotels do not have any pools to access. That's okay though, we have a lot of other things to cover. There's some awesome history about this place. They've done some new renovations to check out and some good dining. Speaking of which, I could use a snack. excited to get some lunch because we are eating in the brand new food hall here at the Fremont Hotel and Casino. They just built all of this. Tons of great options in here. There's Duncan and a craft cafe if you want to get some like breakfast things. We decided to try Huey Magoo's and Steak and Shake. Now my Huey Magoo's combo which was three chicken tenders with fries and garlic bread was like eight dollars and a huge lemonade for three bucks. The lemonade, it tastes totally homemade. It's really fresh and delicious. Mr. Ruby decided to grab Steak and Shake. He got a double steak burger combo with fries and a drink and it was like $10. Pretty much nothing in here was over 15. So a ton of good, cheaper dining options to have a nice quick lunch. Our food was super good. Honestly, this new food hall is such a major awesome bonus addition to the Fremont Hotel. I absolutely love that they also have a little outdoor patio that they've added. Now that we're full, time to do some gambling. If you're gonna be gambling at Fremont Casino, you are gonna wanna get a player's card. It is Boyd Rewards here. Boyd owns tons of properties all throughout Las Vegas, like Suncoast, Main Street Station, and the Orleans. So plenty of places to rack up some loyalty points. A 
along with the brand new food hall, they did renovate a large portion of this casino. And wow, what a difference. This is gorgeous. Brand new carpeting, great lighting in here. I know they're planning to renovate the entire casino this way by the end of the year. Table minimums today, it looks like they had three to two blackjack for like 15 bucks. Roulette was like $10. Along with all that, they've also renovated a brand new sports book and it looks fantastic. We are gonna go over there and grab a drink later. A little bit of fun history about the Fremont Hotel. When it opened in 1956, it was actually the tallest building in Nevada, which is pretty funny considering it's only about 15 stories tall. It was bought out by Boyd Gaming in 1983 and they own it to this day. Many of the scenes in the movie Swingers were actually filmed right here in the Fremont Hotel. As far as location goes, of course, we are in the Fremont Street experience. We are part of what is known as the Four Corners. So that's Golden Nugget, Four Queens, Vinions, and here at the Fremont Hotel, make up that main center area. So it's right in the action as far as location. Got seated here at Tony Roma's. This is definitely the place to eat if you're at Fremont Hotel. It looks like they have some really reasonably priced food on their menu, so we're gonna take a look and see what's good. So, I ordered a Romarita. I did not expect it to be so large. Speaking of, I ordered the half rack of ribs. I got the original ribs for $19. This is like incredible portion sizing comes with fries and coleslaw mr ruby ordered the eight ounce top sirloin it came with two sides he got mashed potatoes and green beans for 24 dollars. so i know we're downtown but like these are really good price points and this food smells so good so i can't wait to dig in oh they're really really good wow Wow, guys, I was really impressed with Tony Roma's. It's no wonder that there's always a line. Apparently, they have a prime rib deal that has potatoes and veggies for nine bucks, or you can get the steak and lobster special here late night for $12. Now it's time for us to go find a little nighttime hangout spot. For an after dinner drink, we decided to stop at the brand new sports book. I have recently started getting into video poker since we moved here. I'm still a total novice, but I like to bet on 25 cents a nom and do $1.25 bets. I usually play bonus poker, but I'm really open to any sort of advice that you guys have for me on how to play, what's the best one, what has the best odds, and any tips or tricks you have. We're gonna keep playing a little bit here, maybe do a bit of gambling, and we'll catch you guys all in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Got some coffee from downstairs, and now it is time for me to give you all my final thoughts on Fremont Hotel. So let's just start by talking about the room with resort fees, taxes, everything included. The room was right around $90. It's just a really nice room for downtown, I will say. I really enjoy what they've done with the rooms. Now we're on the third floor, right next to the canopy. We definitely could hear the street. It was a little loud, but I will say as soon as I fell asleep, I stayed asleep. It did not wake me up. I, the bed was very comfortable. The pillows were a good size, so I feel like once they're done renovating, this is gonna be one of my preferred places to gamble downtown and probably one of my more preferred recommendations for you guys to stay downtown because you're right in the middle of the action, but it's all new and fresh and they did a really good job on it while still keeping it really classic. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I will catch you guys all in the next one. This morning.